Hi, Scottish Mudlark and here with Nicole and Craig. We've come back along to see these burn. We're a good bit further down the burn than before and we're just going to have a look around, chance of luck, see what we can find. If we don't find anything here, we've got a plan to go back up the burn where we know there's an old ruined house, so maybe we'll get lucky up there. So how are you doing? Are you finding anything? Just a couple of pieces of pottery. <laughs> Go watch your step, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's tricky here. I'll show you what I've found so far. It's mainly plain pottery. Yeah, and it's all very grubby from the river as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. That one, you can see it's blue, but yeah, everything else seems to be plain. But we've just arrived, so we'll have another quick look around and see what else we can find. Well, anything nice there? A bit of jam jar, I think. <laughs> you have a look. So it's a bit of jam jar, but I have found two really nice pieces. And a bit of milk glass. So that's nice. Well, that actually looks like a bit of a four-leaf clover here. If you just see the stem here, and this kind of heart-shaped thing seems to be going on. And it's really lovely dark blue pottery, so that's a nice find. Maybe a lucky find. Well, no whole bottles yet, but there's lots of wee pieces of glass. Not very frosted, as we'd expect. But some really thick, kind of quite old looking pieces of glass here as well. Just a plain bit. We found something nice there. Yeah, I think so. It's a little difficult to see. <laughs> right, yeah. It's also, it's dripping a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. There's a kind of floral design in there. Really pretty little flower. Yeah. It's going to be lovely when it's cleaned up. I hope it does clean up, or, um, but it's got like a, like a kind of pansy flower on it. So yeah, I'm really yeah. hoping it'll clean up nice. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Because it's nicely worn, it looks very old. Mm-hmm, it does, yeah. So we're taking that. Cool. Well, we're finding a lot of broken glass, quite new looking glass here. I have to be careful not to cut myself on that. It's all kind of new, you know, jar sort of thing. Uh, little bits of crockery. Yeah, it's a little bit of a teacup there. No marks that I can see on the base. So it looks like certain items of household waste in here. There's bricks and bits and bobs as well. Well, I'm going to take a wee walk down the burn and see if Nicole's had any better luck than me. Well, Nicole's just down here. A wee bit slippy, but not too bad. Very nice day for it to be out as well. Well, I'm not having a lot of luck here. How about yourself? <laughs> a bit of pottery. It's relatively difficult to see through the river. I think a glass bottom bucket would help. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, you know, it has been raining for the last yeah. three or four days. Yeah. Uh, so what we're seeing here is a lot of muck that's coming in through the fields as yeah. the water runs off back down under the burn. But I'm just rubbing something and I think it's really nice. Uh, if, if only I could see through the back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try and show you what it is. It's a pictorial piece. So okay, let's have a peek at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's grubby. I think that fits the definition of grubby. Yeah. Uh, I can't actually make it what that is at all. Do you have any sense of what's in what's happening there? It kind of looks a little bit like a building or something happening here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's a, a row of buildings here. Maybe a bridge. Uh, maybe a boat. We'll try and clean it up and see uh, if we can see any more detail. Okay, Rox. Really cool, fine. Well, we'll see. 
<laughs> okay, so you found a few other pieces as well. Yeah, this looks like it's the uh, bottom of a pleat, probably, in the, the, uh, the edge of the pleat. Then this piece has a little bit of flower pattern on it, like a leaf. Yeah, that's quite pretty. This, I'm not sure if it's some, it's got a pattern on it or if it's just a little bit burnt. And this one appears to just be a bit of plain, uh, maybe a china cup. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, finding pottery, lots of pottery. So let's see, maybe we'll find something else or maybe we have to move. So I guess it's kind of to be expected that we're going to find a lot of crockery or old bits of pottery around yeah. here. We know that there's a little village nearby, mm -hmm. there's a few uh, cottages along the burn here. Yeah. And so I guess all that old crockery just got kind of chucked into the burn. I think so, yeah. And because the burn kind of rises and uh, go goes up with a lot of rain, uh, it does actually wash down. It's uh, different from when we go to the beach where the pottery doesn't really move from the area. So yeah, this is probably from one of the old cottages. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and as you say, if we can't find anything else that looks interesting here or promising, mm -hmm. we're going to move to a location a bit further up this burn. Yeah. There's a bit of pottery in the river, can you see it? Mm. Now is that dirt? <laughs> or is that uh, some, uh, some pattern on there? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> I think it's a raised piece of some sort of pottery. Uh, I'm not sure it's got a, a pattern on it, but it's definitely kind of three-dimensional. Not sure what it is. Okay. Well, we'll clean that up with the rest of it and see what we can see. Yeah. Well, that's a nice wee pile of finds. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That pattern piece is really nice. It's lovely, yeah. It's really nicely defined. Mm -hmm. That clear piece has some writing on it as well. Oh, yeah. A bit unusual. And I found another couple of pieces. I'll pop them here. Right, they are plain. I found this huge piece. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you think that comes from the same piece as this? Mm, I'm not sure. The style looks quite similar, no? Yeah, the style looks very similar, but this one's really thick and it seems more like it's earthenware and that one seems to be um, kind of more like porcelain or bone china. It's really thin. Oh, okay, yeah. But the patterns are very similar. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll take those. Yeah, we shall scoop those up. Yeah. So, what's this? I'm not even sure if you can see that in there. Okay, just in here. Well, that looks like the bottom of a bottle to me. I can't see any markings on that just now. And I can't really clean it up either, because I can't put my hands in the water. So I'll take that over to Nicole and see if she can get a closer look at what that is. Find the bottle bottom. Well, it's still brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit cleaner. There's less, uh, less obvious dirt in it. But can you see mm -hmm. any markings on that? No. I'll have a look maybe in the reflection there. Okay, so there are markings on there. I can't read them. It looks like just raised dots to me. No, it's a W dot nine. Okay. Yeah, so whatever that means. <laughs> so do you think that could be like a mold number maybe? It could be, yeah. I'm really not sure. I mean, there are no other markings on it. It does look like it's probably an old bottle. I mean, it's not one that would be produced nowadays in this yeah. kind of shape. So we'll take it and see. Maybe we can find out what it is. But if you know, let us know. This is a 
really interesting shaped piece of glass. Yeah, that is a really interesting shape. I mean, I, I can see it. Let's, if we can maybe turn that around. So, ah, that's much better. That's much clearer now. We can mm -hmm. see that curve in that. Well, yeah, I'm tempted to call that a neck. Could be a bottleneck, yeah. It could be crystal, not sure. Interesting piece. Yep, I'll take that along. So you just found something? I did, it's just over there, it's massive. Can you see it? No. I'll walk towards it. Yeah, that is a big piece. Yeah, yeah, let's see what it is. Okay, so we have that out of the burn now and we can see it's a large ceramic object. Um, it has some holes in the back there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's turn that around. We saw that there was some writing on it. Okay, so if you can maybe read out what you think you can see there, I think we might have an idea of what this is. Yeah, I think I can see I, L, O and M, E. And I'm guessing uh, it probably said uh, in loving memory, so we're going to return it to the river. Okay, yeah, so this could be either, um, I reckon it's probably a flower vase that was maybe on the side of a grave. Um, so, it may be an urn as well that held someone's ashes. It looks a little small for yeah. an urn. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of hedging towards the idea that this was a, a funerary item, uh, but a flower vase of some kind. Possibly, yeah. There's a church just across from us, so it might have come from there. Uh, but we're just going to put it back in the hangar now. Yeah. Of metal. Let's have a look at it. I saw it has a bit of writing on it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it out from underneath the root. Okay. There we are. Oh, hey, something. Can you I'm going to move this bladed glass. Away. <laughs> <laughs> it says something condition guaranteed. Simpson. Maybe Inspector Service Series Scotland. So that's really cool. Okay, so we can take that. We can uh, do a little bit of uh, searching online. See if we can find uh, the name of that company. See what yeah. it was. Yeah, that would be cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Click on that. We're always on the lookout for little pieces of the past that we can learn something from and maybe even breathe new life into. We discovered that this wee scrap of metal that we found in the burn points to a person who devoted a significant part of their life to collecting and maintaining old things so that they would continue to be of significance and interest in the modern world. T.M. Simpson was a significant name in farming machinery in this part of the world. If you have seen our field larking videos, you will know that the land around us for many miles is dominated by farming and all contemporary farms need technology to run successfully. Up until 2019, TM Simpsons played an important part in that. They sold, serviced and maintained the kind of machinery that has made modern agriculture possible. Until the early part of the 19th century, cattle and horses provided the mobile power needed for farming. These animals provided the energy that drove the carts and ploughs, making large-scale farming possible. Water also played a significant role in powering static machinery. The burn running through Kemback powered many mills in the past. The first machines designed to replace these sources of energy started appearing on farms around 1812. These were cumbersome steam-powered engines that could drive mill wheels, threshers and sawmills. The winches pulled ploughs through fields more efficiently than horses had and they could easily cut drainage channels to open up more land for cultivation when needed. Nonetheless, changes seldom met without some resistance, 
Unlike other mechanical processes that emerged during the Industrial Revolution, these machines provoked suspicion and resentment. Still, change marched on. Steam engines eventually became more mobile, then they were replaced with diesel or gasoline-powered engines. With each change, these new machines increasingly became an everyday sight in the countryside. As the use of new technologies increased, so too did the demand for expertise and maintenance. Companies like TM Simpson provided these services, and little metallic labels just like this one once recorded the details of their maintenance on these machines. Despite the fact that Murray Simpson's business was driven by constant change and innovation in these technologies, his passion remained focused on some of the earliest engines that he built and maintained. Over the years, Murray remained committed to keeping many of these old engines well maintained and running, long after they were commercially obsolete. His passion was such that over 35 years, he amassed an internationally significant collection of 45 rare vintage tractors. His commitment and passion for these older machines was such that by 2014, the newest technologies were, in his words, a mass of complications. Although he saw himself as a tractor mechanic, Murray stated that these days, I could not go out and fix one. Murray's passion for the past and relative disinterest in the computer technologies that manage engine processes and the like has provided historians, collectors and museums of farming with an important legacy. In 2016, Murray Simpson's collection was sold at auction. 45 engines bearing the craftsmanship of a bygone era and filled with the care of a man who found purpose in these things remain so that others can enjoy them long into the future. And each of them bear a little metallic service label, just like the one we found in the barn a short distance along the road from where T.M. Simpson's all began. We found quite a few nice pieces of pottery in that um, part of the serious burn but all the roads to the other part that we wanted to go to were closed so we decided to come to the Eden and the Eden meets the serious burn right over there. Sure, let's see. Yeah, let's have a look and see what we get. <laughs> nope, it's a root. Oh well, you can't collect them, I'm afraid.
have any luck then there? <laughs> well, I am actually amazed. I have found some pottery. <laughs> Oh, well, you've got something there. Yay. Maybe. <laughs> Let's hope it's not just a brick. No. Just a bit of plain pottery, actually. <laughs> okay, well, how have you done? Do you think you've got a few, a few decent things there? Or? <laughs> it's really difficult to see because they're so dark. I found uh, this piece. I think this might be decorated, but I think it needs to get scrubbed before we can see it. That, that is quite dark, isn't it? I mean, you know, you see yeah. dark, but it's. Uh, I can. Yeah. I can tell it's the bottom of a plate. It's just got that rim there, so it might right. be decorated. You know. Oh well, we'll, we'll check that out. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely some pottery finds there. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't suppose you can talk us through what you think you find. <laughs> It's a mucky pottery. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's got a blue bit on it. Okay. This one's got a stripe on it. And that one's got a bit of a pattern on it. That's as much as I can tell you just now. <laughs> okay, we'll take these finds and take them home and clean them up with the other bits from the series bin and see what we've got. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Dark, sun's going down. Uh-huh. Let's see what we've got.
thanks so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, there's a little icon down there, just tap that and you're subscribed to the channel. Huge thanks to everybody for helping support the channel through Etsy, Kofi and Amazon. It really helps us, thanks so much.